Hey, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we are back again giving you that Gucci Gucci goodness here in the Infinity Kingdoms. So, what are we even talking about today? All I can say is, is this another contention of legends? Before we dive in, of course, make sure that you guys sub, like, ring that notification bell. And if you want to be a part of our conversation, you can join our Discord, which you can find in the description and pin comment down below. Okay. So what am I even talking about right now? There was an announcement that came out nine hours ago. This was, let me see what the time stamp is, 6 a.m. Excuse me, this morning. So again, this was pretty much a little over nine hours ago for me. But what's interesting is when I read this, and I did watch the video already, just once, I immediately thought to myself, okay, Here's potentially another Contention of Legends event that's coming out, but it's just being ran different. Some of you might remember that Contention of Legends was ran on Server 97, right, when they introduced some of the new region areas, right? I think it was like Taiwan, I can't remember if it was Macau, and I think somewhere in either Korea or another, and I'm, I'm sure I'm probably butchering that. But point is, is that they did this big event when there was a bunch of new regions that were released, right? Most of them, if not all of them, kind of being Asian predominant or just in those Asia regions. And now we're seeing another similar type of event where you're seeing it says build, occupy, win rewards. This is revival of cities. So it's kind of getting a new name and different objectives, right? And this was something we hinted at back when Contention of Legends was announced is would they run things like this in the future for other big region releases? And then also would they do some trial and error and try doing different types of events? Um, and so if you remember in Contention of Legends, right, it was all about, right, who won the first COR and then... You know, that was kind of how you got rewards paid out based on who won, alliance that won, uh, participating members, and a few other areas. Now, it looks like it's being done different where it says revival of cities will be launched on, in server 136 for a total of 60 days. During this event, players will strive to occupy all cities on the map. The whole event consists of two stages. After each stage completes, there will be lots of in-game rewards for everyone participating. Now, bear in mind, right, this is server 136. If we look at the servers that are currently out now and let's just take a look here we go uh, facebook so you'll see the last city uh, excuse me the last server came out on the 17th right um at 10 15 p.m this is for 134 and if we scroll up here we'll see for the next one which was right here uh wow they're actually opening them in the evening consistently now right so this was on the 13th so this was f three days ago was the last one and then four days ago between that right if we scroll up a little bit more we'll see this one oh 10 oh four so releasing it looks like a little after 10 p.m at night wow it's different you see it usually used to be in the morning uh but this one was on the 10th right so you have three days ago four days ago and three days ago right that's the trend so uh, again it's the 20th right now so if we get another server tonight or tomorrow, that would put us at about four days. And then if it's three to four days from there, right? I mean, you're looking at maybe the 24th, 25th, right? I would say plus or minus, but probably some, some very likely that, it'll be, that it could be one of those days based on the server opening trend that we're seeing right now. Uh, why, which really, if you think about it from today, that gives us, again, uh, off of this hypothesis, four to five days of notice, right prior to this event being released which you can also make the argument is it really needed that they need to without saying need so much right but is it is it absolutely mandatory that they have to give us you know this big heads up for this big type of an event right but then also when we think about it and, and we're going to show the video too as well right how how much of a notice did they give others right other regions potentially so let's see we're going to go ahead and watch this kingdom of suffering Ooh, that's right peck at that guy okay oh there's the there's the new wind emo there, Bornhold. It's time to protect our people, right? I'm not gonna lie though, animations are not bad, right? Animations are pretty good. A Jap so this is where you see a Japanese lords will join us, right? So this is kind of a hint that they're gonna be opening up Japan servers, right? And then you got Yoshi there. <laughs> Is it just me or did they like make his eyes a little more sideways than usual? I'll have to like look up to see if there's another animation uh, that is there before. I just feel like that might not be the same way that I've seen his eyes done. Uh, re right, rebuild our kingdom. Uh, right, and this is kind of a cool graphic. Okay, so here we go, right? Okay, so here we see it announced. All right, this is the part I forgot. January 25th, 2022, Norheim 136. 
So you see it, right? Dope logo. Pew. Okay, so now you know, like January 25th, right, is the date that 136 is going to be released. So maybe they'll release 135 tomorrow and then do another four day out until 136 is released. But who knows if they're going to release a batch of servers similar like they did with 97. Remember, they released three. They went 94, they went 93, 94, 95. No, sorry, 94, 95, 96, 97, right? So 94 through 97, they released um, right after 93 was, right, which is kind of the last NA based server, if you will. Or I should just say, like, non. Uh, Asian based server so to speak based on I think the regions that were currently available for you to play in at the time so now right you have this this revival of cities event that's coming out and you know don't get wrong like I, I think the events are, are actually really cool but at the same time I think to myself uh, you know what because I remember when we did contention of legends right you ended up having content creators that went in to like each faction they kind of played um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I say like against each other, but the factions were kind of publicly being being displayed as against each other, and then in the beginning it was a little up in the air on if you know all the alliances, all the creators within each faction were working with each other. Right? Was it allowed? Was it not allowed? And then you know you end up seeing how things played out in in the servers, right? And it was fun. Like you know people like Jestar that I had hit up along with a few others. Um, that were, and I think Mayonnaise was another big spender at the time, and we had some people that were in 79 early on after the Kingdom shortly opened that came over to play with Omni. I think Bash was there, Clash of Eric was there, Worthy Prince was there, right? And, and it was kind of a fun, cool event, and they did give portals at the end for people that wanted to leave because, I mean, you know, you figure that, you know, most, like, most of the time people are there for the event that want to participate so it's really cool that they're doing something like this again but one of my cautions though is that you know again and remember people can do you know they spend their time they spend their money how they want right i just think it's good to have the information out there and just some realistic expectations i think this event could be really cool because it is different right this is it seems like it's going to be more about um occupying and then holding cities rather than it will be contention or relics, so they're kind of focusing on a different aspect. And I think that in and of its own could be very interesting. But remember, just like we saw in 97, right, with players like Boss Baby and others who are just so massive in the game right now, uh, right, so strong, right, spent a bunch of money, or just to say a lot, and most likely that's going to happen again, right, with an influx onto 136 as the server, right, except you'll have players from Japan that are coming in, right, who knows if we'll see another Boss Baby. I mean, it, I wouldn't put it past me. And, and so I think because of that, even though the situation is different, right, where it's not necessarily like one alliance winning COR, it's, you know, you're not competing for all 81 cities on the map. It is, it is different. And I actually like that they're doing it differently this time as well to kind of just show you a different way to go about participating. And I think doing it this way actually is a little bit more engaging than just having it be one thing like what it was for COL uh, just for the relics and then the world hard to see who would win the first round. Now, with that being said, again, I would love to know what you guys think, right? Again, are you are you excited to see them kind of doing another similar event for this on the regional openings? Um, I personally think it's really unique. Um, do you like the idea of now they're switching it up, kind of going to cities compared to COR, right? What were your thoughts on the video? Um, anything that you'd like to share, please feel free. Not sure if we're going to be participating in this one or not. I, I, I will say that it could be fun um, to possibly do that. Um, and I'll, I'll have to get with some people uh, to maybe see if, if there could be something. But beyond that, I really want to know what you guys think about this event, right? Are, do you like that they're kind of doing this? Would you even expect them to do this going forward? And even more than that, what do you think is another type of an event or a way that they could do the event that could be appealing right, for future region releases? Let me know all the hat and everything you guys are thinking in those comments below. That, of course, is it for me. And until next time, we will catch y'all later.